Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for GoLeopards.com and another win for the Leopards this week. They moved to 3-0 and they travel to Pittsburgh this week to take on Robert Morse. Today we're going to talk about kickoff coverage and what does it take to be a good kickoff coverage player and team as a unit. First thing I talk about is attitude. You got to find 10 guys that want to run down the field and be the guy that makes the tackle. Each competing against each other, each one trying to get down there quicker than the other guy. The other thing is effort. Each one has to give a lot of effort, has to get down there and make a, a move on the guy that's trying to block them as well as make the tackle. And the last thing is intelligence. When we get to intelligence, you think I gotta run down the field as fast as I can and just blow somebody up, not the case. If I am number two or number three running down the field, taking on a guard, a lot of times those, uh, Kickoff return guys are going to try to force a guy in a certain direction. If he tries to force me inside, I want at the last second what I call cross face. Same thing with number four. If he's coming down and that center is trying to take him away from the play, he's got to have the intelligence to cross face and think about whether or not that guy wants to take him to the left or the right. On the back side, if I'm a contained guy, I got to know that I got to keep everything on my inside shoulder. If it's play side and I am the contained guy, same thing. Can't let anything get to the boundary. Got to be a little less aggressive than the guys running down the field. So for each guy coming down in their lane, this may be a safety and the kicker's a safety on the other side. So we'll have nine guys coming down the field with two safeties. At, uh, attitude, effort, and intelligence is what it takes to run down on a kickoff coverage team. I'm Mike Joseph for GoLeopards.com. Robert Moore, 6 o'clock on Saturday.